I ended my marriage. I had been married for 19 years, very unhappily, and had stayed there for the children. And so at 50, I decided to end my marriage. And that led to a series of other decisions. I'd been vegetarian for 30 years, so I decided to stop being vegetarian. I'd been working in a career that I wasn't enjoying for 20 years, and I decided to stop doing that and retrain. And I also had been in love with a woman for a very long time. So I asked her if she would have an affair with me, and she said yes. So I went from being a heterosexual mother of two to being a lesbian mother of two, which was an interesting, it's still an interesting experience. And so I sort of turned everything upside down. I just thought, I can't do that life, that life that was so constrained by judgments and mores. I don't want to do it anymore. And that series of decisions has been extraordinarily isolating. Um, and it, I think I'm coming out of that isolation now. A lot of judgments are made about women who get divorced when they have children. A lot of expectations are that it's the most awful thing you can do to your children. That wasn't my experience, actually. Everybody's a lot happier. But I think also if you stand up as a woman, if you stand up for yourself, I think it frightens other women. I think um, a lot of women find it very uncomfortable. So that led to a lot of space. I'm a very happy woman today, but that's very personal. I myself am very happy. I am, I am myself. I, yeah, I, I cut my hair off. Oh my God, you know, women cutting their hair off. There aren't very many of us. Everybody wants to look like, what's that princess called? The one that just got married? Oh, the most awful version of a woman on the planet. She looks like she should have been made out of Lego. And actually when you stand up and you do it differently, I, I've stood up and I've done it differently and I'm very, very happy, but it's an isolating path. But then when you find other people who are doing the same path, it's really cool. But I think all my life I've been a pioneer. And I feel like I'm still pioneering. Doing it, stepping up and doing it slightly differently. But I'm not running a salt march. I'm not Gandhi. Women don't have that option. We can't do it in the same way. It has to be more subtle. We don't have the same rights. Family, I... Um, I think that um, I don't enjoy my family in my past. We're not close. I have sisters. We don't really speak. Um, and I was married into a family of seven. My husband was one of seven. And we, I made a rule that I didn't have to like his family and he didn't have to like my family. And that made a lot of space. That meant that there was no um, friction. I didn't have to pretend and he didn't have to pretend, which actually allowed things to just be what they were. So I'm not from a close family at all. I know nothing about my father. I know nothing about my mother's life. I don't know any aunts or uncles. Apparently there's seven. I don't know any of them. So I feel interestingly um, that I can choose anything I want. I can choose to be whatever I want. I, I don't feel constrained by history, which is quite nice, actually. You spend your whole life, I think, sort of trying to find your place as a woman. It's quite, it is quite challenging, it's quite difficult. Why are we second citizens? I don't actually, I've never really understood that. Why, why are we so much less? So I think if I was angry, it's a lot to do with expectations. Why am I sold toothpaste by a man? Why is it a man that's an expert that sells a woman cleaning products? Why is it a man that can espouse experience? I don't, I don't understand why a woman can't have that same experience. Why can't I earn the same as a man? Why is that, why am I less? I think that's probably a lot of the roots of anger. And not just for myself, but you know, globally, yeah. Why, why is that, why are we set up like that? I think that causes, and then there's thousands and millions of women who, who don't care. Quite happy, Facebook generation. I look at my children's friends and I just think it's a disaster. <laughs>